Today, I share five tips with you on how to successfully keep bubble tip anemones. So how do you know when your tank is ready for an anemone? Well, tip number five, your reef tank or aquarium's parameters should be stable. Your water quality should be at a point that you can keep corals. Now, you don't wanna add an anemone if you've just cycled your tank. You wanna give it some time to balance out, get past that cycle, get to the point where you're adding some corals to your tank or your water parameters are at a point that you can keep corals. Now be sure to watch all the way through to the end of the video because I have a bonus tip that I wanna share with you. Anemones need good, strong lighting for you to be successful. And that brings us to tip number four. Now, most reef aquarium lightings on the market today are fully capable of keeping anemones. So you can be successful with T5s all the way up to LED lights. The main point being, if you have lighting that can keep coral alive and thriving, then an anemone will be just fine. So once your tank parameters are stable and you have the right aquarium lighting for your anemone, the next thing to do is to pick out an anemone for your reef aquarium. Anemones have an oral disc or a mouth that they use to eat their prey. Now you don't want to see that mouth gaping wide open, rather you want that mouth to be closed and tight. Now you also wanna take a look at the foot of the anemone and take a close look because you wanna make sure there's no tearing or rips in the foot because that's what it uses to attach to the different substrates into the crevices of the rock. The foot is very important because that's what the anemone uses to hold itself in place. Tip number two, once you have your bubble tip anemone acclimated and you're placing him in your reef tank or aquarium, be prepared for him to move. Anemones can move around the tank and they'll move around until they pick a place that they like. A place that they can anchor their foot in, such as a crevice in your rock work, um, a cave, somewhere that they can safely place their foot that they feel comfortable. So when you place them in your reef tank or aquarium, be prepared for them to move because they can walk around and they're gonna pick a spot in your reef aquarium that they like. And with that, that brings us to tip number one, is that bubble tip anemones love high water flow. They love to move and sway in the current and it's awesome to see this movement in your reef tank and it's one thing outside of them being able to host clownfish that makes them attractive in the hobby is, is the movement and well, the overall motion that they give in your reef aquarium. Now I promised a bonus tip and the bonus tip for keeping anemones successfully in your reef tank is feeding your anemone. Now you can feed your anemone and they will grow and multiply in your tank. You can feed them meaty food once a week or so. However, it's not really necessary. If you have other fish in your reef aquarium, broadcasting your tank and feeding your tank is enough to sustain the anemone because they love that high intense lighting and the lighting helps them grow and thrive as well. So you don't necessarily have to feed them. You can, you just wanna be careful and you don't wanna overfeed them. If you see them pushing anything out of their mouth, then you've overfed. So bonus tip is you can feed your anemone, but you don't really have to. You can just broadcast feed your tank and they'll be just fine. So there you have it. There's my five tips on being successful when keeping bubble tip anemones. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you already have bubble tip anemones and if there's any other tips that you would leave for a beginner in the hobby or maybe you've been in the hobby for a long time. And let me know in the comments below if you love anemones and what you're doing to keep your anemone thriving in your reef tank. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, check the notifications, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.